Here is everything that happened in Rebooted MCU Phase 1. Project 1, Iron Man, takes place in-universe 2008. The basic premise of the original Iron Man movie stays exactly the same, except for James Rhodes, who is now played by Don Cheadle instead of the guy that created his own form of science. Yeah, I'm not joking. I said one times one equal two, didn't you? You had heard it somewhere. Somebody, that was yeah, I... Am I crazy or is the calculator broke? In short, Tony Stark is captured, builds the Iron Man suit, decides to change the way his business is operated, much to the dismay of Obadiah Stane, who builds his own Iron Man suit called the Iron Monger suit. They fight, Stark wins, Nick Fury shows up to talk about the Avengers Initiative, and that's the film. Seriously, if you haven't seen this movie, what are you doing? It is one of Marvel's best and remains mostly the same in rebooted MCU. Project number two is The Incredible Hulk and it takes place in universe 2009. Just like Iron Man, The Incredible Hulk project stays mostly the same with a few minor casting changes. Mark Ruffalo replaces Edward Norton as the Hulk, Harrison Ford replaces William Hurt as Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross, and Leonard Sampson does not appear in the project. So yeah, as I said, the story plays out the same. Banner is unable to control the Hulk, Ross wants to capture the Hulk, Emil Blonsky is hired to help capture the Hulk, but with some help from Samuel Stearns, becomes the Abomination and faces off against the Hulk, Hulk wins, and Stearns is set up to become the leader in the next movie, and we have Mr. Stark in the post credit scene. Pretty simple and straightforward, so let's move on to the next project. Project number three is Ant-Man and the Wasp, and it takes place in Universe 2009. Meet Hank Pym, played by John Krasinski, a recluse scientist who is married to the lovely Janet Van Dyne, played by Emily Blunt, who is determined to perfect the Pym Particle. Pym has received funds from AIM, under the leadership of Alvin Tarleton, played by Michael Douglas. After Pym perfects the Pym Particle, he gains the ability to shrink and also learn to communicate with ants. Upon learning that Tarleton and AIM hope to use the Pym particle for evil, Pym severs ties with AIM and forms Pym Industries with a goal of bettering humanity. Enraged by the betrayal, Tarleton forces AIM scientist Maya Henson, played by Rebecca Hall, to create her own version of the Pym particle. Henson warns Tarleton that her prototype particle has not been tested, but Tarleton decides to test it on his son, George Tarleton, played by Bill Hader, causing him to be transformed into MODOK, killing both Maya and Alvin in the process and setting his sights on Pym technologies. Hank and Janet are forced to team up in order to stop MODOK from destroying both Pym Technologies and the city. Donning new suits, the duo become known as Ant-Man and the Wasp, and are recruited by both Nick Fury and Phil Coulson to join the Avengers Initiative. Project number four is Iron Man 2, and it takes place in Universe 2010. As is the trend here, most of Iron Man 2 remains the same as the original movie, except that there is no whiplash, and instead we have Crimson Dynamo, played by Colin Farrell. So basically, every whiplash scene, Swap him out with the Crimson Dynamo. Iron Man is struggling with alcoholism. His competitor Justin Hammer teams up with Crimson Dynamo to bring down Stark, but thanks to help from S.H.I.E.L.D., Agent Natasha Romanov, a.k.a. Black Widow, and James Rhodes assuming the title of War Machine, Crimson Dynamo is defeated and Justin Hammer is taken to prison. Project number five is Thor and it takes place in Universe 2010. Well, again, this movie stays exactly the same as the one we got, except Hawkeye does not appear in the project. Thor is determined to be unworthy by his father and is sent to Earth where he meets Jane Foster. Thor attempts to regain his hammer Mjolnir, but fails to do so. That is, before the Destroyer is sent to Earth, we learn of Loki's plot to take the throne. Thor regains his worthiness and attempts to stop Loki, who falls off of the Rainbow Bridge, setting up... Project number six, The Avengers, which takes place in Universe 2011. Most of the movie stays the same. Shocking, I know. Except there is no Hawkeye and no Captain America, and the hero who is mind-controlled is the Hulk. So Loki is much more destructive in this movie. The lineup of the Avengers is Iron Man, Thor, Ant-Man, Wasp, Hulk, and Black Widow. Hulk is eventually freed from Loki's mind control, and as Loki attempts to bring the Chitauri army to attack the Earth, the Avengers work together to stop him and become known as the Protectors of Earth. At the end of the project, the team goes their separate ways for the time being, and we see Thanos in the post credit scene. The final and seventh project of Phase 1 is the Fantastic Four, and it takes place in Universe 2011. We are shown a space mission undertaken by five brave souls, seeking to study the cosmic rays. Brilliant scientist Reed Richards, played by Keanu Reeves, his wife Sue Storm, played by Amanda Peet, her younger brother Johnny Storm, played by Andrew Garfield, and the pilot of the ship Ben Grimm, played by Jason Sudeikis, as well as an unknown fifth member who will be revealed later. During the mission, they are bombarded with cosmic rays and are given powers as a result. In the present day, Reed refuses to take any actions related to heroism or protecting the public, as he believes the Avengers will cause more harm than good and doesn't want to be associated with them. 
This changes when Harvey Elder, aka Mole Man, played by Danny DeVito, decides to attack the surface world, as a result of disturbances caused by the rebuilding efforts following the events of the Avengers. This forces Reed, Sue, Johnny, and Ben to step up and defeat Elder, forcing him back underground and becoming known as the Fantastic Four. Reed decides that the group will protect people where they can, but will not go out of their way to become heroes, and sets his sights on figuring out a way to return to space in order to study the cosmic rays. And that does it for Phase 1. Whether you are a longtime fan of the series who needed a quick recap or a new viewer hoping to get caught up, I hope these recap videos will be helpful to you and increase your enjoyment of rebooted MCU. Anyways, look out for more of these videos coming soon. This has been JT, and I will see you all later.